Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new logo design tutorial and today I'll show you the this type of grid logo how to make this one I'll show you step by step so if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so going to the illustrator at first I already made this logo and newly I'm going to the new options and taking an artboard giving the name bm logo and hit the create button before that i'm just keeping here rgb because of i want to publish it in a web if you want to go to the print you can keep it in a cmyk that's the best options and then hit the create button you'll get an artboard over there after that going to the line segment tool press the shift and hold it and draw five lines so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten actually ten lines making this one a little bit of bigger making this one ctrl c and ctrl f ctrl c for the copy and ctrl f for the forward paste and press the shift and hold it and you can rotate this one or you can make here like 180 degree so you can get the rotation like this select all the steps making it group ctrl or command g ctrl for the windows and the command for the mac and keeping this one into the middle of the output it will help you out to make the alignment properly and all the steps properly and one thing is that the artboard or this workplace i'm just keeping here essential classic if you keep this one essential classic but uh, not showing you all the steps like me you can reset the essential classic and another thing is that go to the view options from here smart guide and the snap to point you should keep it on because of those things will help you out to align properly in this window okay going to the circle going to the ellipse tool and draw the ellipse according to the bigger the bigger one actually so making this one according to the line okay when you are making this one proper alignment you watching here the pink line which is the smart guideline which is really helpful ctrl c and ctrl f ctrl c for the copy and ctrl f for the forward paste making this one is smaller two ctrl c and ctrl f making this one smaller three circle will keep and selecting these two will keep this one two and i'll keep this one five lines like that one two three four five so i'll keep this one five line upper side of this and then select all the steps and then going to the shape builders tool from here or you can press the shift m from the keyboard which is the shortcut of this and now i'll make this one make the black color and b and m will make this one so here at first i'll make this one like that make it zoom for the better view you can be careful because of you can lift any area so i'll suggest you to keep this one like that and i'll make this one so make it zoom for the better shape and don't lift the area so here and here don't lift the area if you make it zoom it will help you out to not leave the area so i'll expand this one a little bit of like this and here i left but i want to make it like that so first portion is done and now we'll make the aim select this and make it zoom for the area where you left and okay that's fine this and this so you can keep it round actually roundness will make sense because of that is making in a round shape or circular shape so it will help you out to make this one okay now the aim another portion so here i'll make this round make it zoom if you can lift but if you can zoom or if you zoom this one you can get the proper the measurement like that and now last one last por portion of the aim should be like that and now that's fine 
our logo is ready okay double check if any area left you can make a fill up the shape with the shape builders tool now finally going to the magic one tool select one single line and delete the lines at a time that's fine select all the stops making it group from here you can turn off the stroke for the better result that's fine and now going to the text tool and select once in a text and making this one 100 pt okay that's fine and change up the font as you wish but i am here using the d bot or d dot d dot this font and i just used here the base meal now making this one a little bit of bigger and a little bit of space between two letters 100 is good for me and making this one proper alignment of the middle making this one group and select all the stuffs making this one proper alignment i'll suggest you to make this one like that okay this line and the logo last line that means the alignment should be like that but you can make this one create outline if you make this one create outline you won't get the font editable because of when you're making this one outline you are getting all the thing is in a vector form and that is no longer in a font okay that's good or you can make this one all caps from here you can explode this one it's totally up to you and it's actually your game so control command z you can go to the previous mode okay alignment done now our logo basic logo is done but you can use any sort of uh, like uh, colors and everything you can make another options here the artboard making this one copy by like that alter option button you can drag this one that's fine and now i'll make this one change by any sort of like light color that's good and then taking rectangle which is i'll take black and same in the back how to make this one right press and go to the arrange and send it to back okay you are getting the logo version like this you can save this one already we given the name and bm logo we can save this one this is the ai version but when you are giving the mock-up to the client you should copy this one control or command c and going to the photoshop here we downloaded this one from freepeak.com and i'll provide you the download link in my free description okay here is smart object double press over there it will open up in new window turning off this one control or command v and then hit ok making this one a little bit of a smaller or best fit and control or command s okay that's good and then you can get result in this window you are just getting here the logo like that if you want to crop this one you can go to the crop tool and you can make this one like a one is to one square shape i'll suggest you to keep this one like that in a golden point so this one is the best thing to make and crop this one by the pressing hit the tick button here control command s and save copy as as an image and giving the name logo bm that's fine and hit the ok button you can increase the size and everything 2.1 but uh, you can make this one smaller if you have the limit or like size limit over there so you can save this one again and save copy as and jpeg and save this one here is the slider you can change up the like a uh, size if you have the size limit suppose if you want to upload in a youtube you have a limit to 2 megabyte lower than the 2 megabyte and hit the ok button you are getting the logo like that so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and don't forget to subscribe my channel and not to miss out my any sort of tutorials like this have fun be healthy and give me your prayers bye bye